Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Krizzy here, and welcome to, to another brand new movie review. In today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on the new animated movie that just came out yesterday, and me and my dad just got back from, from seeing it. And, and this is going to be and this is going to be my review on Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Yep, the highly anticipated sequel to the 2018 Oscar winner Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah, this is actually the sequel Across the Spider-Verse, which I'm which I'm reviewing right now. Yeah. <clears throat> me and dad just got back from seeing it from at Regal. And so in in, in this movie Across Spider-Verse, after reuniting with Gwen Stacy, Brooklyn's full-time friendly neighborhood, Sp Spider-Man is, is catapulted across the multiverse, where he encounters a team of Spider-People charged with protecting its very existence. However, when the heroes clash on how to handle the new threat, Miles finds himself pitted against the other Spiders. He must soon re refine what, what it means to be a hero so, so he can save the people he loves the most. And... There you go. So, when when I first saw the trailer for for this movie back in like back in like 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 way back in like 2021, back when this movie was supposed to come out in like 2022 last year, I, I was really looking forward to checking this movie out since I I really I really loved the first Into the Spider Verse. I actually rewatched it before seeing the sequel recently, and and I I can definitely see why Into the Into the Spider Verse deserved the Oscar winner for Best Animated Feature over Incredibles Two or Ralph Breaks the Internet. Because what made the first in the, what made the first Spider Verse movie so good is is that is that not not only not only like it's like not only it's it's got that it's got that astonishing like like animation techniques and styles and visuals because it, it's almost a, it's almost kind of like a mixture of like of like hand drawn animation while at the same time computer animation. Where it kind of looks like a painting of some sort, and it's almost like 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 in the style of a comic book. Yeah, the the sequel is like that too, because it's like how like how the animation technique and styles and visuals are astonishing and amazing. And even 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 newer animated movies that at, at this time are, are being are are being like that too, because last year DreamWorks DreamWorks Animation did it with their 2022 releases, The Bad Guys and Puss in Boots: Last Wish. And they're also doing the same thing with, with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, which comes out in August. And also, Disney is also doing that for, 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 their, for their new an animated film, Wish. Yeah. <clears throat> but how does, how does the sequel turn out? The sequel, I, I actually really love this movie. This movie is actually my, this movie's actually my new favorite animated film of the year. Yeah, this, this movie was also a great way to start the summer, the summer year as well for, for 2023. And yeah, th this this movie's actually now my new favorite animated film of 2023 surpassing the Super Ma the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, cuz cuz I know we've waited so long for for this movie to for this movie to come out and it's like we and it's like and, and like I said we were supposed to get it last year in in 2022 but then Sony delayed it to June 2023. And yeah, cuz I was really looking forward to checking this movie out and the movie itself actually played out to be very very good. Not just good; it, it was it was just uh, just as awesome as the first Spider Verse, as well as fantastic. Yeah, it was fantastic. It had the same animation and styles and visuals, just like the first Spider Verse. And 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 I bet if, if you if you enjoyed the first Spider Verse movie, this movie is definitely gonna blow your mind, because my my dad really loved this movie as well. Like because it, it's it's just one of the craziest animated films I've ever seen, and it's like. And I can definitely see how animated films these days are trying to be like this, of course. And it's like, and it's like how you got action and you got some humor. And yes, we 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 are, we are getting another Spider Verse movie, which comes out in March twenty twenty four next year, Beyond the Spider Verse, which I, I'm really excited to see it because we because as we as we all know, the movie does end on a cliffhanger, but without spoiling anything, without spoiling anything, because we already know that there's a good reason for, for there's a good reason for for the cliffhanger. But I'm still I'm not gonna spoil the ending, and yeah, cause cause it, and e even this this movie is also is also the the longest animated film I ever saw in movie theaters because because this movie is over two hours and sixteen minutes, the longest for an animated film, which is also an unusual thing for an animated film to for an animated movie to be that long, but but there is a good reason for for this movie to be over two hours, and. 
And yeah, and I think the pacing itself actually worked. And and yeah, because and and of course, once once we get beyond the Spider Verse next year, it'll it'll like, it'll definitely continue where where the second movie left off. And and yeah, because as, as we all know, this when the title was the title to this movie was originally part had part one of it, but we know this is actually part one of the sequel films and of of the Spider Verse series and. And then, and then of course, and then of course, we'll find we'll find out more in Beyond the Spider Verse next year in March. And yeah, and, and of course, there's also no mid credits scene. Like there's there's nothing during and after the credits, so you don't you don't need to stick around. But at, but at, as for the voice cast, the voice cast was also very um, the, the voice cast was also great. Like I gotta say, like Haley Steinfeld is still is still Haley Steinfeld's an awesome Gwen Stacy. Like Haley Steinfeld. Jason Schwartzman was also in the film too. Jason Schwartzman, he plays like Spot, of course. He he's actually one of the newer characters in, in this movie where Spot's actually like, like a white character with black spots. And yeah, Jason Schwartzman, like he he was great. And yeah, it's just I, I don't think I have any negatives for, for this movie because I I don't seem to I don't I don't seem to find any any negative th any negative thing about this movie because Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse was 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 definitely worth waiting for and and it was it was definitely worth checking out on the big screen and and I think it, it I think it's also one of the one of those movies where you got you got to see right away and and, and right and when I, when I rewatched into the Spider-Verse when I when I rewatched it recently I actually definitely under I actually definitely understood the aspect the aspect of this movie and that and that it, and that it, it definitely like it, it definitely like it gets you into like into like they're not noticing any Easter eggs that that were that were in this film. Like it, it like like the movie's not trying to force you into seeing like Easter eggs. It's just they're basically there without you noticing them. And yeah, cause yeah, cause like cause this movie's definitely gonna blow your mind, and it's it, it's it, it was definitely worth waiting for. Yeah, my dad really loved it too. Oh yeah, and plus I. I also tried out the Burger King Spider Verse Whopper as well, and 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 I and I and I, and I thought it tasted really good, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, and, and of course there there's also some Burger King restaurants out there that are also serving like Spider Verse Sundays, but I'm not gonna bother. Like, I'm not gonna bother trying it out. I mean, it looks. I mean, it looks good, but I just don't really feel in the mood into trying it out since you know the Spider Verse Whopper is good enough. But yeah, so so yeah, the the Super the Super Mario Brothers movie used to be my my favorite my favorite animated film twenty twenty three. But now but now but but after seeing Across the Spider Verse, Across the Spider Verse is now my new favorite animated film twenty twenty three, and, and it's definitely a great a great start to the summer season because my because the school year is almost over for me. I'm al I'm almost finished with with my with my high school cafeteria school year and. And yeah, and, and I'm definitely excited to I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely excited to work to work there again for for like the 2023 to 2024 school year. Yeah. But of course, I'm probably not going to start again until until the, by the time I turn 24 years old this August. So, yeah. But yes, cuz like I I I had a real fun time seeing Across the Spider-Verse and it, it was a whole lot of fun. And and yeah, because like so, like Sony Pictures Animation has really improved their work in their movies. Like because like, ever since Into the Spider Verse, like Sony Pictures Sony Pictures Animation has really improved their work with the Spider Verse movies. Like even like even after they did that crappy emoji movie from 2017, as well as like oh yeah, because like before Across the Spider Verse, Sony Pictures Animation's last movie they did before this movie came out was actually was actually Hotel Transylvania Transformania, and. To me, in, in my opinion, I kind of liked it for the most part. I mean, it was it was just a decent conclusion to the Hotel Transylvania franchise, but but I gotta say, Across Spider Verse was even better. Yeah, because because everything about this movie is, is awesome and fantastic, and it, it was definitely worth seeing for to to, to begin the summer season. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> so, so overall, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse was fantastic, awesome, and my new favorite animated film of the year. 
and I'm gonna give Across the Spider-Verse five out of five stars. If you haven't seen it yet, then I highly recommend checking it out at your local movie theater. So there you have it, guys. That's gonna be it for my movie review on Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And that's gonna be it for this video, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying, Goodbye, everybody, and that's about it. Talk to you later.